lot of Lomnava, which is Love Me and Come, the Atri family, we deeply regret to announce the passing of our, our beautiful mother, sister, daughter, and auntie, and that is the late Irene Yawa Atri. Um, he happens to be my uncle and our colleague, Mr. Frempon's wife. She passed on, and the final funeral rites will be on Friday, the 6th and 7th of this month, which is September. Um, venue is Akpando Gabi in the Vota region. That is why I did it with the Lomnava. So if you love me, you come to the Kwando in the Vota region to come and help us to say um, goodbye to our auntie, our mother, our sister, and our everything. Yes. But before I start with my next guest, I, please help me sing happy birthday. I don't know if you can say happy belated birthday, but anyhow, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Sing it. Happy birthday, dear Ephraim. Happy birthday to you. Would you tell Thank us you. your age? Thank you. I'm 24. Please. He break my heart, oh. <laughs> With your age, no, you break my heart. I'm 24, yeah. Oh, so then it means I would even be your sugar mommy. Yeah, yeah. That's how come you broke my heart. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> Ephraim, happy belated birthday thank to you. you thank H you, thank you. How was the celebration yesterday? How did you enjoy your day, your celebration? I was, I, was, I was moving all around from radio to TV, radio to TV hmm. throughout because um, I dropped um, a, a new, new song one. on my birthday. So uh, yesterday I ate around... Around 5 p.m. The whole day? That was when I ate breakfast, lunch, and supper. Oh, so together. Was yes. it like the main meal we eat on a plate or another meal, like, you know? No, it was fufu. Oh, fufu. Yeah. You know there's another type of fufu? I don't know. You don't? Like, you don't? No, I really don't. Seriously, you don't? Yes, I don't. I go home around 11.30 to 12. Mm. And you didn't eat anything no, at that time? No, nothing at all. Just took in water, I took a cold shower, and then I slept. Because this early morning, yes, I slept alone. Because this early morning, I had in the in interviews and all of that. Oh. So you are reserving or retaining your energy for the interviews? Uh, what energy are you talking about, though? <clears throat> okay, so um, <laughs> Ephraim, we know him as a producer and a musician. So my interaction with him is going to be from the camp of a producer as well as an artist. And that's going to be very packed. So if you're out there, you, you're an upcoming producer or artist, I believe you have to just pay attention, listen to him critically, because he might just give you some guidelines, and then it might help you, coach you and guide you in your career. Let's start with production. Yeah. How long have you been doing production? Quite some time now. A um, couple of years. Mm. Like eight, nine Eight, nine. Mm. So that means you've seen a lot when it comes to production. You've yeah. seen, you've heard, you've learned a lot. Yeah. What yeah. does it take for one to be a good music producer? Um, you have to be, I am not just a producer. I'm okay. a producer and a sound engineer. Oh, okay. Double. Yeah. So, yes. Because there knowledge. are differences between being a producer and being a sound engineer. All right. Please educate us. Being a producer um, is... Another part, just knowing how to make beats, produce beats. But being a sound engineer mm. is engineering the beat that is being played okay. to make it sound very good. Okay. That is when we deal with the mixing and mastering and all of that, you understand? So, so some are producers, some are engineers, mm. and some are being blessed with both. Both. Mm. All right. So this, most of the time, you hear people say that, oh, it takes a special ear yeah, to, to be, be a sound a, engineer. Okay. Not, yeah, to be a producer as well. As well. But it takes a special, special ear to be a sound engineer. Wow. Yeah. How, how is that? Yeah, because you have to tune every little thing, you understand, in the song to, you know, there are components, things you put together to make a beat. Okay. You have to mix them separately, one by one, to make it sound very good in the ears. Mm. So... So for you to put yourself in the masses' shoes, you have to um, listen to the song like you're listening, you're, like you're listening it outside. I mean, it has to, it has to be some grace and some, some mm. speciality that, okay. that gives you that, um, 
that idea or that 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 foresight. Okay. You get it. For you just to make sure it sounds right in the ears of others. Okay. Mm. All right. So then, um, has there ever been a time where you've um, produced a beat mm -hmm. or you've engineered a good sound and you feel that, oh, the artist didn't do justice or didn't use the beats well? Oh, yeah. I've been a couple of times. And how, 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 what do you do when such a thing happens? Do you, do you tell them or you just yeah, keep some, it to yourself and yeah. take your money? No, no, no. I have to tell you. Okay. I have to tell you. So if you're humble enough or you're cool enough, we'll work it out together and make sure it comes out very very well if you're humble enough that that's to say that some, some people, people do not take some it some people feel they know too much okay so when they want to do their thing they want to do it their way mm. they understand but when you come down to my level that is very low mm. then we can work together and make sure we get a great job out there okay so can you just name a couple of no. such oh one well, moment, really simple. <laughs> no, no, no. Would you tell me this is client's um, attorney privilege? Yes. My yes, yes, yes. Oh, how? Like, do how? Uh, how is how? How is how? Uh, yes. <laughs> anyway, so now, um, at your career as an artist, mm. did it come? Did it begin as of you pl doing your engineering and production, and you realize that oh, okay, so it's just about the singing. I have a good voice. I can vibe to this tune. So then let me just also put something out. No. This is one thing people out there don't really know about me. I started music as an artist, as a recording and performing artist. But just for the fact that I had um, the idea of playing musical instruments, because I play in church. Okay. So that was what took me into production, you understand? But I started as an artist. Okay. And knowing Ghana here, we don't really have investors to come invest into into your, uh, our careers and mm. like our work, our industry. So I had to do something that could give me some small cash mm. to shoot my video, to do promotion, to do all of that. You understand? Okay. Just imagine um, from a poor boy like me, mm. I don't have a studio or I don't know production. It means I have to go work somewhere to get money to go record my song. You understand? So I thought of it wisely that mm. since I have the knowledge of playing musical instruments, why don't I it. learn how to produce it, how to um, engineer the sound that could help my own self? Mm. Did, you, did you learn from someone already in the industry? or? To be very honest, I started um, in a studio in Ashaiman. Um, I can't remember the name of the studio, though. Iche. But, Iche. <laughs> <laughs> but um, um, there's this guy there that... Um, held me down. That is um, Alinko. Okay. Hey, Spididi. Big love to you. Yeah. <laughs> Alinko, yeah. Held me down. I moved to um, Met Mix One Blaze Studio in Community One. That was when Kewa heard of me. Okay. Kewa called me and started coaching me. Small, 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 and all of that. Mm. Get it. Mm. You mentioned Kewa. I have a question mm. concerning Kewa. But before we do that, there's mm. one favorite song of yours that I love. It Which actually told your story. Today, I don't know why I'm dealing with broken-hearted people like that. No. <laughs> no, let's say. <laughs> so, you, before we talk, mm. let's just go at, uh, take a look at Broken Heart, everyone featuring T-Flow, and then when we come back, we'll talk more. Mm. Also, no matter what, no matter how much a guy can be a player, there's one girl who can break his heart. So, Ooh. please, who broke your heart? <laughs> oh, it was on L. We were on L. So, they had everything you said. No, I wasn't saying me. So, who are you saying? <laughs> you were saying your something, and I was trying to help you. Yeah, I was you saying out. my something. Your something, and I was trying to help you out with your something. <laughs> so, you never, you've never been breaking hearted? I have. Yeah, so why didn't you fear? Like, you did dodge the question. I <laughs> did dodge the question. Wait, when did it happen? Uh, some years back. That was when I dropped the song. Okay. Mm. What was the extreme thing you did when you had the broken heart? I really don't want to dis disclose it. Okay. Yeah. You know, it was quite bad, you know. It was bad, huh? Very bad. Because she broke your heart, oh. oh. <laughs> okay, Frim. Yeah. Um, I was we were talking about Kewa before mm -hmm. we went for the music break, but my question is: recently, I saw you post um, Yalbek, mm. an artist who used to work with Kewa, mm. who is out there saying a whole lot of things, mm. and a lot of people 
are out talking about the fact that he shouldn't do that because it's a circle. The industry is a circle. And the fact that he's going about saying these things will make it difficult for him to get other opportunities. You see, it's, the industry is not just a circle. Okay. But I believe in one thing that the hand that has fed you before, you don't bite it. Okay. We are humans. We do mistakes. I understand. Mm. So if I wrong you, it doesn't mean you should cover all the goods that I have done for you. So just talk about the bad. You get it. So if we have a, prob a problem right now, probably I might go sit somewhere and say things that you've done bad towards me. Mm. But if the fools listening to me are not being wise enough to ask me. The fools, huh? Yeah, because if, if I come telling you, oh, me and uh, Paco or something did this, 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 and then you also believe it. Excuse me to say you are one. Um, one. One of... You are just one person. You get it? <laughs> you get it? Yeah. So, um, forgetting that this same person that has come on air saying all these things was very close to the person he is accusing right now. Did the person say the good things that has come between them all this while? Mm. You get me? So I, I posted him. I don't really know him that much. We've yeah. met a couple of times, but we are not, that fr we are not friends like that. Mm. You understand? But I've known Kewa for years now. Kewa has been, most of us are papa. Like, yeah, you understand? Yeah. We've been to the studio. We've slept there. And all those nonsense he's saying, we, we've never met anything like that there. Mm. You understand? Mm -hmm. you, Kewa has got artists, a couple of artists that were in the studio. Why are you the only person complaining of that bullshit? Excuse me to say. What can we? What can we? You mm. understand? I mean, you don't come out to tarnish Kewa's image like that. Okay. No. That so, was why I was trying to caution him that, yo, if you are trying to fight Kewa, you are trying to fight all of us. Okay. Ooh. Trying. Yeah. Wow. So it means that you guys stand with Kewa 1,000%. But has he has he replied that that message? Has he replied? I saw a reply. Honestly, it was totally nonsense to me. I read it too. You read it too. Yeah. 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 I told him to go back to Kewa. Kneel. Go and kneel and apologize. Mm. You understand? I said everything is a man of God. Though. Go and apologize. You understand? And then he said, "Oh, we leave everything to God." And, Yo, that is pride. That is pride. Hmm. That is pride. You are a sound engineer. You're a producer. You've hmm. worked with a lot of artists, hmm. old, new, upcoming, everything. Yeah. Is this one thing that you feel um, a lot of the artists have? And when everybody has pride. Yeah, but let me let me learn. Mm. Can I? Okay. So a lot of artists will come out and say that oh, people are not supporting their music. People are not pushing their music, and that even some of the sound producers that they work with do not even help them promote the song. I see you post some of the people, uh, some videos of people who yeah. you you produce their um, beats and all of that. Mm. So when artists come out to say that oh, the sound engineers or even the people I worked with to bring this piece out are not being supportive. Do you, in a way, think that maybe certain behaviors or probably their pride, to an extent as well, hinders all these support from all yeah, these people? Yeah, of course. Did you know your bag before uh, Kewa? No. You get it. So just imagine, if not for Kewa, to record a song for your bag, to call people, mm. people that respect him. Yo, this is my boy song. I don't even know if he's paying them to play or... I mean, he shot video. Charlie, see, we are artists. I'm an artist myself. You understand? So, shooting your video, recording your song, shooting your video. Okay, me, I'm a sound engineer, so I can record my song for free and all of that. Mm. But going to a studio, getting a man like Kewa to record you, to play, to make beats for a record and mix your song. Yeah. Pay for a video to be shot for you and then put it on TV. Yo, yo, don't try. Mm. It's not easy, trust me. Okay. If it is easy, trust me, do you know the number of talents that are home, that are on the street, trying to survive, trying to, to, to break through? Mm. Trust me, it's not easy. So that's why I'm saying, if Kewa could do all this for you, and then today you can sit on radio and say these things about Kewa, trust me, you didn't do well at all. All right. Would you help any artists coming up? I'm, I'm, I'm helping artists. Okay. 
I've got some two boys I'm working on do. I've got Linchi. Mm. And I've got um, um, Lega as well. I'm working on Lega. Lega is a Votarian. Um, he's in the Vota region, but I'm working with him hand in hand. Linchi okay. is here with me. Are you I'm open helping for other more? artists. Are you open for more? No. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm helping other artists that are not under me. Okay. You understand me myself, I am under somebody. <laughs> <laughs> you get right. it. But what I can do to as help. in being um, production and some small one or two links to get a song be played on radio, I can do that. I mean that won't take me won't take anything from me. Okay. You understand? So when it is in my capacity, I can do it. Okay, so let's talk about insane. Yeah. That was a birthday bash, huh? Yeah. Oh wow. So my birthday was very, very insane. Uh, but I thought you said it was just interviews. I didn't tell you it was insane. Charlie. How? You before, see, you ate some fufu. After, after the last interview, no, before the last interview, the way I was hungry, eh? I was totally hungry. So they took me to some corner of it, inside the um, asylum down. Okay. We will go chop the fufu for me. Okay, well, this fufu thing there, I still find it some way. We would investigate. But please, tell oh, me yeah. about Insane. Yeah, Insane is a song. I know people were asking me questions on social media, uh, like... Um, the whole of this year, I haven't dropped any visual mm -hmm. and all that. And I've been consistent over the years and all of that. So I told them I was just taking my time to make sure I get the right song for them. For them. So it wasn't like um, I was home and relaxing. No, I was working, recording songs all the time, all the time, until this song came about. So it was one night I was in the studio making a beat and then... I got this beat and I had the idea, so I sang the chorus, sang my verse, then I sent it to Samini. Samini. He had a studio in his house, so he did this verse and sent it back to me. I packaged it, sent it to um, that beat God. Okay. That just produced, uh, he produced um, the song for Eunice that just left here. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, sent it to that beat God and then he worked on it, played it, played whatever I had to do, work on it, mix and master it, brought it back. And then my people took it to uh, KP Solomon. And I will show the video. Mm. Mm. That easy, huh? Wasn't easy. It wasn't. But you've, you've said it and to make it sound so easy. I need a summary. Okay, <laughs> he said about the details. <laughs> but before the details, tell me the story behind Insane. It definitely had an inspiration. Um, an inspiration. <laughs> you know, see, I was supposed to do song, a song with Samini. For very long time <clears throat> people know he's my my godfather my mentor that kind of thing so everybody's been expecting a song Something from, from me course. and samin okay. so i was just waiting for that song and it just came but why call it insane uh, me myself when we finished the song after doing the verses everything mix master it came i didn't have a title for it oh wow i get it so it was manager who said charlie insane goes and let, let's let's get it done with it Okay, so people, maybe we can also attest for ourselves. So let's take a look at the insane video. Listen to the words. Let's see if really insane goes with it. We'll be back. Okay, so that was an insane video. Sam I'm sorry. A friend featuring Samini. And I think Yatia say insane. It goes, sir. I saw Donna Bonnet Dam. It's in a bro from where they insane. All right. But before the start of the video, who's a year corner me besides a nam, mehunam? That is New Africa movement. In say a yam and nam. Yeah, yeah, nam, sorry. Ah, yeah, another nam. Now say a nam day. Yeah, nam zero. Anyway, um, beautiful video. I saw a lady who looked like Salma. No, 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 no. Not at all. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. So I shouldn't ask my next question. You can ask your next question. I don't mm. know what it is, though. <clears throat> okay, so let me do some messages before I come and do the question. Okay. All right. Um, hello, is Manasseh, a.k.a. Skyn Boy, Ephraim, you are doing great. God bless you. Bless but you I want too. to be like you. Mm. Mm. You can, you, the, 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 the person, Manasseh, you can be more than me. You can be better than I am. Yeah? Just keep focused. Okay, um, I'm better than Yao Beck. He got the opportunity, so he should quit and let us also get the opportunity. We'll be a free advert to how. <laughs> Hi, my name is Yao. Okay, yeah. Wow, I'm having a program to be on air, book, book woman in it on a TV station. Can he be of help? So, 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 so
program what, what can what I help you? you hit me on any of my social media and then platform and then we'll talk about it okay all right um, this one says, I'm, I'm funny and I really like your Ephraim. Your words are just so accurate and fact. I want to get in touch with you. So please drop your telegram handle or something so we could be friends. I need people like you. All right. He will do so in a bit. I'm Benjamin Yaomensa Murphy. Hi, Frank. Massive banger. Uh, like, okay. Happy belated birthday to you. More vibe. Good work. I'm your yes. Murphy. Um, all right, Godfather, you're looking. The messages are not clear. I beg you. I'm Benjamin Yao Mensa Murphy. Looking up to you, Godfather. More bless vibe. Up, bless up, bless all right. up. All right, I am Nana <laughs> Radical from Tema. I love this man. I'm sure this man loves you back. Mm. Oh, for you are. I refill your dress today. It's so simple. Can you stand? <clears throat> I'll skip. All right, thank you. I'll skip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Don Yaru from DP2. I'm filling your interview with a great artist there, but please ask him now how is his relationship with Stoneboy? Thank you. Oh, we're super cool. Yeah. We are, we are doing a song together. Okay. Soon, huh? By the end of this year or next year? Um, it depends on my team. All right. All right. Kojo Abwadin from Tema Newtown says, Xylophone TV, I'm a musician. I want to be in your studio one day. How can I come? Please, look for Abeku, and then he'll let you come. Hi, my name is Ken Omaru. I'm an underground artist. I love Ephraim very much. I wish to be like him in two years to come. Okay, okay, okay. Ephraim, messages now come. Let me just forward them to you. And so as you go, <laughs> you'll be reading. Because I don't so. Yeah, I know. But that. before you go, the yeah. Nam, New African Music, you said, is the same movement. Um, movement yeah. New African Music. New uh, African Ewana, Movement. Okay. Ewana Adina Wonomeba. Okay. Okay, so you guys work together? Yes, please. Oh. All right, so when do we expect a song from you and her? Oh, pretty soon. You might pretty not know. Pretty soon. Okay. Okay, but it was interesting having you here. Yeah, it was so interesting now, being here. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh. mm -hmm. you sound like uh, yeah, my main trust. Like. No, uh, yeah. Um, before you go, mm. you said there's a new song. You have something coming up with Stone Boy, yeah, and all that. Do you have any upcoming projects? Do you have something you're pushing on social media? How do we support? How do the people support? Yeah, this is the new song that just dropped yesterday. The new West in town. Mm. The newest, not just newest, newest banger in town. Nice one. Um, that just dropped yesterday. It's on all digital platforms. Download for free as well. But I urge people out there, yo, buy them. Make we get small coins. <laughs> Although it's there for free, but buy them. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, so um, just go on, on social media. You can request it on all your TVs and radio stations, all your, all your, 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 your selected shows or your, mm. your favorite shows. Request it on them, um, push it on, uh, share it among your, your, your friends, post it on your social media, Hello. Instagram, yeah. your, your Snap. Yo, when, when, when you do a video with it, send it to my Instagram, just DM it to me, I'll post it and tag you as well. So you get followers like myself, me too, I get followers some, mm. and you too, you get some, then we just, we win together, yeah, you understand? It's a link up thing. Yeah, it's a link up, so you link up, I link up, we link up, and yeah, then everything yeah. is big up. Yeah. You know what I'm okay, so you know the battle? Yeah. It's on. You were there at the audition. Yeah, yeah, ha yeah. Are you following? Do you see how far the guys have come? I've seen. I've seen. I've seen a couple of them. Mm. Some are calling me saying, boss, how will they do and all of that. So, mm. they, go on, they go on. Okay. So, um, b before you, no, drop your social media handles. Yeah, it's just um, Ephraim. My name, E-P-H-R-A-I-M-M-U-S-I-Q. Ephraim Music, one word. Music ends with Q. Mm. Ephraim, E P H R A I M M U S I Q. Ephraim Music on um, Facebook, Instagram, um, Snapchat, Telegram, um, everywhere. Everywhere, some. Twitter, <laughs> everywhere again. Everywhere, some. Yeah. YouTube, okay. everywhere. Where are you? final, final, be here. Where are you? What's up? <laughs> Okay, people, so um, like I was telling him about the battle on Link Up Friday, God willing, um, the next batch is going to come your way. The judges will be here, seated. We are hoping Ephraim can come again, mm. and then they'll come and judge them critically. Uh, their delivery, there. their swag, their style, flair, and everything. I'll but try and come. You try and come. Yeah. In. All right. But until Friday, you have 
all the time from now till Friday to vote for your favorite contestant. So there was a battle between EA and Chiches, and then we had tablets in Sem and Sketches Eye. Who amongst them do you want to stay to the next round of the competition? Who do you want evicted? Go cast your vote for your favorite contestant. Log on to um, Facebook, as Xylophone TV's page, and then you click on the link that says the battle on link up. And then you cast your vote for your favorite contestant. So until same time Friday, my name has been Ofreua. And then I'm ending the show with Ephraim, the birthday boy. We'll do a post-birthday celebration behind yeah. um, when we close. Necessary. But until then, stay safe. And please, like I said, let's, let's tell our friends in SA, no to xenophobia, the violence, the hate is not helping. Very bad. Very, we are very one bad. people. Let's stay united. It's one love, one family. Charlie, let's go insane for each other. And let's link up on social media. Until same time Friday, my name has been Ofriwa and we are out.